I've got the copies going. Brendan's on the bloody. These two in this cafe, that's the last of the Aldi coffee. Oh, Aldi, there you go. Yeah. Morning, Morning Jules, mate. Lovely. Well, I'll give them. You see it in the flesh. This every morning Steve goes through his karate. <laughs> He's got it the shop. <laughs> It wasn't it the neck, wasn't it? Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to do anything to fix it. It's like like a knot between my shoulder blades. That's smart. That's good, Bacon and eggs, toast. This is the background type stuff, eh? Yeah. But this is what it's all about. Steve shot a very good looking boar yesterday. He was a unique colour. Yeah, nice set of toast. They do you some damage. One down. One. <laughs> Gave them a bloody hurry up. The rifle and the shotty came in handy then. One pig out of that hole, buddy. Look. Yeah. I just, you, you just, um, you're sleeping under the log. <laughs> yeah, right. I read up, seen him stopped, and then when I sort of was waiting, he turned my camera on, he got going. Yeah, right. They would have been buggered if uh, the fence wasn't here. 
forced me to do some stupid shots with the shotty. But I did alright with the rifle. Straight for the fence, and you know that bit of a thick, like the uh, 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 I had to slow right down to get over that. Um, but then I shot, I shot another two on the fences, right on the fence. So Steve's over there, little Willy Wagtail. He's walked through this stuff here, and if anything comes out, I have the Ruger. And the shotgun at hand. If they go that way, depending on how far they are, will be the choice of weapon. Good stuff. Just sent Brendan down into the dungeon. There's a big lot of circles that goes right, the river goes around a big circle, it's like a big teardrop. And we know pigs are in there because we just saw the tracks in there. Steve's over there, ready to shoot because the river's there and the river's here. It goes right down and around. And that patch of land down in there is the dungeon. Ready with the gun. The rifle, in case some come down along the bank here. What do you reckon, cows? Look at the cows checking it out. Look at <laughs> A little bit of water there, but I think the main part starts here. I don't know how much I've got the winds perfect. Let's go see if we can see something. Be a bit louder. Pigs up there, mate. I thought I heard something. Ah, no, okay. So I was just coming past that log there and a fox came down that bank there. I could hear him before I saw him. Straight over my right shoulder, no more than three or four metres away. As he went past me, I turned the camera on but then the stick brushed the edge of the kayak 
and I thought he'd stop and see me, but he didn't. He just kept dropping along here, crossed here, and I shot right in the water there. It's a 32. And sorted him out. They reckon one fox is 700 native birds and stuff like that, so that's good. Not as bad as a cat. came down for a drink. I thought he was going that way. He freaking saw me. So I was just coming around the corner there and I just saw a black thing going up the top here. Parked the kayak, followed him up. There you go. I thought it might have been a lone ball, but I think it's just a, a young one. Barefoot. So this one's called a Black Hunter and the uh, Mandarin Duck Company in China gave me this. Beautiful gift. And I'll tell you what, we all had to go pulling it back and it is a 50 pound. <laughs> you can't hold it back for long. It's a beast. It's a, uh, and Brendan's a mad bow hunter. He's got a compound bow and he proved the fact that it will go through a pig, or into a pig's vitals anyway. And this is the aim of the game, to get pigs a big boar. Very effective bow. And it hasn't even got a knock. It's just got, um, she's just got a straight, there's no bit that puts your arrow, but it seems to work. Beautiful, beautiful bit of machinery. Mandarin duck. Google it. Mandarin duck. Archery or something like that. And this is the Black Hunter.